In the two ramp system, uh, we have a start and an end position, uh, and we want to find the delta y, the change in position between the start and the end. Due to friction losses, a delta y at the end will be lower than delta y at the start, assuming that this is a starting position from rest and this is the ending position at which the uh, ball comes to rest. Okay, so our parameters. Uh, the distance we travel on this ramp is delta S1. The distance in this ramp is delta S2. And we're going to call the slopes slope 1 and slope 2. Don't want to use M1 and M2 because we might want to talk about mass. A is another uh, frequently used um, letter to represent a slope, but that could be confused with acceleration. So we're not, going to, we're not going to talk about that. My question is then, what is delta Y in terms of uh, delta S1, slope 1, delta S2, and slope 2? Well, we could say that delta Y is uh, delta Y1 plus delta Y2. So if the slopes are small, if a slope is small and we have a distance delta S along that slope, uh, then delta S is approximately equal to the run. There's not much difference, for example, here between the distance we travel here and the distance uh, corresponding to the run between this point and this point. Because the angle is small, the hypotenuse of this right triangle is going to be very close to the uh, horizontal leg. And so, again, if, if, if slopes are small, delta S is approximately equal to the run. And delta Y, which is the rise, is then the slope times delta S. And we'll say that's approximately equal. Um, and that's a very good approximation for angles uh, below 10 degrees or slopes below 0.1. Um, actually, 10 degrees would be a slope of, of uh, uh, about 0.16, 17. Um, but for, for angles in that range and, and, and below, uh, you're approximation is good to within about 1%. Okay, now if it's not so, the hypotenuse of a triangle is related to its rise and run. Hypotenuse squared is rise squared plus run squared. <coughs> and the run is the rise divided by the slope, just as the rise is the run multiplied by the slope. Um, the run is the rise divided by the slope, so the hypotenuse squared is equal to rise squared plus rise over slope squared. And if we uh, factor out the rise squared, um, we get the rise plus times 1 plus 1 over slope squared is hypotenuse squared. Uh, the rise then is the hypotenuse times slope squared over the uh, 1 plus slope squared to the 1 half power, the square root. Um, and we get delta y is delta s times this factor. And uh, we can take the square root of the slope squared. We easily simplify the equation uh, to this. So if we do have slopes that aren't small, uh, we would want to do this. We'd want to use this expression. In this case, though, we're just going to use the small slope approximation. So what's delta y1? Well, it's the slope times delta s1, slope 1 times delta s1. And delta y2 is slope 2 times delta s2. So if we take the slope as well, if we take the slope as positive, that is, uh, these slopes aren't signed. Uh, the rise and the run aren't vectors. They're just scalars. Um, that what we're going to have is the delta y1 is going to be negative. So uh, we're going to have negative slope 1 times delta s1. Delta y2 is positive. We're going to have slope 2 times delta s2. And we're going to do the y2 minus the y1. Uh, actually, it's the y1 plus the y2, but delta y1 is the negative of slope 1 times delta s1. In any case, your delta y is going to be negative. Um, slope 1 times delta s1 is going to be bigger than slope 2 times delta s2. So you're going to have a loss of altitude here.